Okay, I am getting ready to start. Here is the image. I will include in the link down below this video uh, where you can just click on uh, the link I give you and get the image yourself on your phone or your computer. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Here's the colors I chose. If you look at this image, I see turquoise, I see um, orange, I see pink, I see yellow, and that's about it. So um, turquoise is blue and green mixed together. Here's my purple, here's my pink, here's some oranges, yellow, oh, I guess I need to get some yellow too. Now, these are the pure colors. I mostly mix my colors with white. Here's my white. So, even though I have all these colors, I will most likely be making them much lighter. This painting requires a lot of blending and shading. So, for example, the yellow has a lot of white mixed into it, and it has a variety of shades of yellow. So there's some with a lot of white mixed into it, and some not so much. There's also shades of yellow mixed with orange. So I'll walk you through all that. But the first thing I'm gonna do is mix up my colors, and lay out the painting, sort of like a blueprint, a base coat, okay? That's next. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just starting to mix my colors. What I have here is blue and green mixed together, and then I have blue and green mixed together here. This is phthalo blue and phthalo green. And um, I have the same thing here, but I've got some white in it, so I can make a lighter version of it. And then I have the same thing again with a lot of white in it, so I can make a much lighter version of it. Then I just have plain old blue and plain old green because if you look at the image, there are areas where it's straight up turquoise and then shaded with lights and darks. And then there's areas where the turquoise is more blue, even purple, and there's areas where the turquoise is more green. So I just wanted to have some green and blue handy to use to green up or blue up any of the turquoise as I need it. And then if you look, there's also a little purple in the background. So I've, I've got some purple here, some purple with white, so I can make a light purple. And then I have purple and blue because there's even bluish purple areas. And then in the middle of my plate, I just have some white in case I wanna lighten up colors a little bit more. So now I will mix them and I'll show you what that looks like after I'm done. Okay, so now I've mixed up my colors. As you can see, I've ended up with um, the blue and green mixed together, which has made a turquoise. And then I added a little white, a little more white, even more, and then even more. And if I wanna make it even lighter, I can. So something for you to keep in mind is these colors are in their pure form. And even though this looks really light compared to this, it's still pretty dark. Here's white. So I use a lot of white. Most artists use a ton of white paint, not so much pigment. So that's why the pigment seems like it's expensive because it's pure pigment. You're really not gonna use mostly pure pigment. You're gonna mostly mix it with white. And just as a comparison, and also because I felt like I might need these colors, I went ahead and added a little bit of white to the blue. So you can see that it's clearly not the same color as the turquoise, it's much bluer. And I added a little white to the green and you can see that that's clearly green and different than the turquoise. It's more of a bluish turquoise. I could add more green and I probably will when I start painting in certain areas, but um, I have the freedom to mix any of these colors as I'm painting. So there's my cat. Okay, so then I also have blue and purple here if I need to use them. And I have purple with different amounts of white added to it as well. So I have dark purple, medium purple, medium light purple, and very light purple. And I could make it even lighter if I like. 
So um, the other thing I wanted to let you know is when I mix my colors, I use a palette knife because palette knives are meant for mixing the colors because after you mix a color, you can wipe it off and you don't really waste a lot of paint. There really isn't much stuck to this. But if I were to mix my colors with a paintbrush, paint brushes are made for holding paint so you can take the paint from your palette and put it onto the canvas. And uh, if I were to mix these colors with my paintbrush, the paintbrush would soak up most of the paint and then I would be wasting it and I probably wouldn't have much on my plate anymore. So I use palette knives to mix up large quantities of paint. Now, if I'm in the middle of a painting and I just wanna make this purple a little bit lighter, I might just drag a little bit of white over with my paintbrush and make a smaller pile, but that's because my paintbrush is tiny and I'm just making a little bit of it. But when I'm mixing up my paints, when I start and I'm mixing up a lot of paint, I use palette knives. So I don't know if I talked to you about the tools you're gonna need either. So here's the paint. You can use any kind of paint. These are the ones I use for my classes. Um, but I'm using acrylics. They don't come out of your clothes. So if you look, these are my pants. I've washed them recently. Um, I think I, these just came out of the wash. This stuff does not come out of my clothes. I also have an apron on. Um, anyway, it's acrylic paint. It doesn't come out of your clothes. Uh, it's the same as latex paint, so it dries really fast and it's water soluble. So I always have a big bucket of water to rinse out my brushes with. I use a big bucket of water because it doesn't get dirty that fast. And when it does get dirty, I dump it out and get fresh water because if you have blue water and then you go to make something that's light yellow, your water can mess up your paint. So it's very important to keep your water clean and I use a big bucket so it stays cleaner longer. I have a variety of different paint brushes. I've got little ones, I've got big ones and they're different shapes and they do different things. So, and you'll see more about that. But I usually have my paint brushes handy, my palette knives handy. I have paper towels handy because I use a lot of them. I use paper plates as my palette and I have my paint. I have a garbage can nearby because I'm constantly wiping off my brush and using paper towels. And I have a spray bottle <clears throat> that I use to spray my paint because it is acrylic paint and it dries pretty fast. So sometimes I'll spritz my plate of colors to keep it from drying out um, as I'm painting. So these are my blues, greens, and purples. And next I'm going to do my pinks, oranges, and yellows on a different plate. So that is next. Okay, so now I'm done. I've got my blues, greens, turquoise, and purples. I've got my orange. I made a pinkish purple here that's pink mixed with the purple. And if you look, you can see it's definitely not as blue as the pur straight up purple. It's a pinkish purple. And then um, I have pink, I have dark orange, light orange. And then here I have yellow mixed with orange to make an orangey yellow. And I have straight up yellow with lots of white. And then I almost felt like my oranges weren't light enough. So I just made a pile of light orange. So these are the colors I'm going to start with. And I always mix up my colors before I start painting. So that once I start, it's all ready to go. This painting requires a lot of color mixing. And then there's a bunch of different colors in here. There's a lot of paintings I've done in my classes where we only need a few colors. This happens to be a painting that needs a lot of color. And now I'm going to lightly mist, you can see, lightly mist my, my paint so it stays wet and doesn't dry out. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I got that ready to go. And now you can just watch me as I sketch out my painting. So something I want you to keep in mind is I'm using acrylics. So I'm going to choose a very neutral color to sort of sketch out where everything's going to go that I can easily cover up and paint over. And then I'm going to put down a first coat of all the colors you see there. Not real neatly, kind of sloppy, just as like a base coat so that the paint won't be see-through when I go in with my final colors. 
So um, I'm gonna set up the camera so you can just watch me sketch. Because these are acrylics, the paint will dry really fast. And if I make a mistake, I can just cover it up easily. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you can see my image here. And here's my canvas. You can use a big canvas, a small canvas, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this vertical because the image we're looking at is actually vertical. And I'm using sort of like a not huge brush, but not ti real tiny either. And I want you to keep in mind that whatever I put on my canvas right now, I'm gonna paint over anyway, it's just a blueprint. I'm gonna try and use a color that's sort of neutral and can be easily covered up. So I'm thinking like light yellow, just so I can see it. Okay, so I always look at the edges of the canvas to gauge things. So if you look at the top of the curve here, it's about, it's not that far from the top. So I'm just gonna indicate where that goes. And then if you look at this, I don't know, it's probably a quarter of the way in. So I might map that out too, where that starts to curve in. And then where the curve actually is, is a little bit above half, right? This comes down and there's about, I don't know, just like a little space there towards the bottom where that comes down to. And I might use a little bit of darker yellow because I can't really see that too good. And then where it curves off, I don't know, it's about a third of the way down, about there, right? So I'm gonna draw this curvy shape to start with. It's the most predominant feature in the painting. All the area of emphasis is here. The way the artist emphasized this is there is the most dark against lights, there's the most sharp edges, there's the most focus. And so your eye goes right here, but then your eye also kind of follows this out here then there's contrast here, this is interesting. So this is really a great composition because your eyes draw in here and then there's many places that your eyes are interested in moving around to. Um, most of the focus is here, that's called emphasis. And if you notice, the area of emphasis is not smack dab in the middle of the painting. Usually artists, except for George O'Keefe, sometimes she'll make a line right down the middle. So she kind of blows my mind with some of her compositions, but um, this one has a classic, not in the middle sort of area of emphasis. It's off to the left and a little bit above middle. So anyway, I sort of mapped out where everything goes. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and indicate the top edge of this curve and then it curving in, right? And then we've got sort of like this round shape here and then it kind of Curves up here, goes around, and comes all the way down to where I made that mark, right? So I'm just, this is just me creating a visual map for myself. It's a blueprint. None of this is final. And then I also said that I felt this went off the canvas about here. So that is what I see. Okay, so that's where I'm starting. And then from here, there's a predominant pink, pink curve. Do you guys see that? It's pink and it comes down like this and it comes down to about here, the bottom of it, edge of it. And then it kind of like goes up like that, right? Comes down to about here. And then underneath that, there's a big orange one, right? Orange and turning to yellow that just goes off, off the page about here. Right, so there's this whole shape. I can even color that in so I don't get confused. And then after that, there's a very thin 
orange line that starts here. I didn't even mean to put that orange in there. That just got on my brush. And then it kind of merges with this down here. And then after that, from here, there's again like a turquoise shape that comes out and goes over this one and then goes straight into the corner of the painting. I don't know if you see that. That's the turquoise one. Then there's even like a shape right here. I'm gonna use a little bit more of an orange color, but there's like a shape here that comes off like that. That's like orange. An orange turning to purple. Like it's not this orange, I'm just, it's just a map. Okay. Then off the top of this, there's almost like a curving pinky orange shape here. That's right here. See, right there. And then up here, I see like a dark turquoise shape that joins with the top of this. And then there's almost like a reddish area right here. And then there's a little turquoise that pokes through there. And this is all light turquoise here. And then it gets dark in the corners, right? And that's pretty much my map. i
and here's what I've done so far. Okay, so you can see. And there's the two together. Okay. And here's my paint. My water. Okay. So um, before I take my break, I'm going to spritz all of my water, my um, paint with water so it doesn't dry out. And uh, I'll be back. Bye.
Jai Durga Jagadambe Bhavani Jagadambe Thank you. 
Looking back to the windows of lost opportunities So often missed or ignored A thousand times I start heading for the dawn Only to turn around and face this room once more I come for Choices you hear, you split in two. Does it matter? It's water under the bridge. Is something ahead of you? You go round it, no better. Drive straight through.
for you
Struggling for what's it all really worth? Making
black sail in the pale yellow sky. And just as before in a moment, it was gone with the great God's flight. It happens again, I shall worry. Sanity scans the horizon in the light of a darkening sky. That night as I walked in my slumber, I waded into the sea strand. And I swam Question mark hung in the canvas of the wind that had died in the road. I may have slept for an hour. I may have slept for a day. For I woke in a bed of white linen. And the sky. First, just a rustle of canvas in the gentlest breath of my face. But a galloping light of white horses, and I soon we were in for a race. The gentle side turned to a heart. sky she anchored to black and my anxious eyes searched the horizon but the god of the sea at my back did I see the shade of a sailor on the bridge to the Ship had turned into the wind against the storm to raise. And underneath the sailor's hat, I saw my father's to heaven is broken.